welcome back to the 30 day feel good scoliosis challenge for scoliosis awareness month today we are going to be using a chair so if you need to grab one quickly pop me on pause and go get it we are going to be doing some gentle stretches using the chair not scoliosis specific but scoliosis safe and this is something that you can do anytime if you're at work or at home and your body just feels like it's needing a little bit of a stretch. So first thing we're going to do is come to our hips and I'm going to show you the version when you're sitting down but I'm also going to show you standing up as well. So we're going to come into a variation of a pigeon pose or a number four if you're familiar with yoga where you can bring your right foot over your left knee, flex your right toes and hold here. So you can gently drive your hand into this right knee, use it to lift your chest, get those seated scoliosis corrections, get the spine nice and long and hold here. This is option number one or if you would like to maybe deepen the stretch a little bit more, you can come to standing, use the back of your chair and you're going to bring your right foot over your left knee and you can sit back into an imaginary chair. So just choosing your variation, but make sure you keep the spine nice and long. We don't want to round into the back. Keep the head and the chest lifted. And just breathing here. We want to get roughly 20 to 30 seconds on each side. And then you can switch over, just doing the same thing on the other side, crossing your ankle just above your knee. Keep your toes flexed and drive this knee away from the body so we don't let it collapse inwards. We want to push it out and if you are standing at the back of your chair, just pushing your hips back, keeping the spine nice and long, maybe getting a little bit of traction as you push down through the chair. We're just getting some deep breaths here, helping us to stretch and open into our hips. we get two more deep breaths here, maybe see if you can sink a little bit deeper into the stretch wherever you are. And then we're going to switch and come into a quad stretch. So for this one you can hold on to the back of your chair, you're going to grab your foot and you're going to bring your knees close together. Try not to let your knee come forward, you want to pull it back, but if you're doing that, try not to extend through the spine. Keep this nice and tight, keep the spine long, and just looking forward. If you can't grab your foot, you can maybe use the chair to help assist, or maybe use the wall. You might have to find a couple of tools to help, and if that doesn't work, just stand and practice your standing corrections because that never gets old. You're going to lower your foot down and switch sides. So just grabbing your ankle, try not to let your knee sway, try not to let your knee come forward, try not to extend through the spine, keep your rib cage tucked in and you can use your chair just to help with balance. And with stretching and opening, all the muscles and the tissue across the front of the body here. When you're sitting down for long periods of time, this all gets shortened. So it's really nice to do this just to open it up and lengthen it out. We're gonna do one more stretch for our hamstrings. And again, I like to use the chair for this. You can take your right foot and just pop it onto your chair out in front. Maybe hold onto the chair if you need a little bit of extra balance. Keep the spine nice and long, the head reaching towards the crown, <laughs> the crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling. Flex your toes, it's okay if you need to have a little bend in your knee. But you want to start to feel a stretch through the back of the leg here. Don't overextend, we want to have a soft bend in the knee. And of course, keeping the spine nice and long. And again, we're getting those 20 to 30 seconds here, just opening up through the back of our hamstring. But now it's all connected. It connects to your hips, it connects to your lower back and up your spine. So it might be quite a nice release for the body. You're going to switch sides. You can extend your left leg out. Again, flexing the toes, 
Keep the spine nice and long, a soft bend in the knee. We never want to fully extend and lock out the leg. Same with your standing leg. Don't lock it out, you want to keep a soft bend. And just holding here if you have something here to hold, maybe even better, so we're not rounding into the back at all. And just getting some nice length into the back of the hamstrings. And just notice, does this side feel any different to the other side? Start to acknowledge all the little things that we have going on in our bodies. And then you can stop there. Good, well done. I hope that just helped you to feel a little bit better and gave you some tips and some inspiration for things that you can do throughout your day to just help stretch the body and release, but also keeping awareness of your scoliosis, keeping the body long. I hope that helped. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.